guys welcome to my channel this is claire so i made really simple and beautiful wall hangings not so expensive at all and i want to show you how i made them for the first design i'm using this poster board that i got from the dollar tree and then i'll also be using these mirrors i picked these from 99 cent store um, basically i'm just going to use the mirror alone so i'll remove it so what I'm doing now is just to trace out this mirror um, because I'll be attaching it later on at the center of this piece. And then I drew curves uh, from that center. Um, I wasn't really perfect, but you can just do as many as you want. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you're updated every time I upload. Thank you. And then I also drew the boundaries. I just tried to make them oval but at different levels for all the curves. I then cut it out uh, using uh, my knife. Uh, you can also use scissors to do this. The shape is not really perfect, but that's fine. I then traced it out on a cardboard. And now I'll be using Mod Podge to attach the two, but you can also use cool glue um, to make this bond. I pressed it in just to make sure every point is attached, especially at these ends. You don't want them to open up uh, once it's dry. I then took it outside to dry for almost three hours, uh, brought it back in and just cut off all the excess cardboard that I would see uh, using scissors. Then I covered these edges using bling wrap that I already had at home. Um, to cover up all this cardboard. I noticed I still got an air bubble here, but that's fine because I'll cover it up. So what I did was to attach back the mirror using E6000. And then using hot glue, I, I put these beads around the mirror. I then covered all the lines that I had drawn also with the same beads. This is how it looks like. I think it's beautiful. I then used Mod Podge to attach the crushed mirror glass. I ordered this online from Michael's. Just make sure I use really enough Mod Podge uh, so I can put enough glass onto the cardboard. If you want it really thick, you can first put the first layer and then let it dry, then add a second layer of Mod Podge and then add extra crushed mirror. Uh, but I just wanted one layer, so I put enough crushed mirror for the first time and let it dry. After removing all the excess mirror, I then put another layer of Mod Podge to seal all these pieces to make sure that the crushed mirror doesn't fall off and this is it and just hanged it on the wall. That's it for this piece. The second design is really similar. I used the mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree and just dressed it out and then I drew another circle inside it. Then divided this circle into 12 uh, pieces. Uh, using my, my ruler and then I'll be using this triangle to make um, 
the edges, um, starting from the inside circle. This is the design, this is how it looks like. I then cut it out um, using a knife as well, just as I did before. And for this time, I'm going to be using um, foam board that I picked from Walmart. It's a little bit stronger and um, better than the one for Dollar Tree. Uh, so I traced it out and then cut this shape as well. This is how the pieces look like. I attached them again using Mod Podge. I attached a center mirror back using E6000 and then I covered the edges using this silver um, bit. Then I cut out strips uh, from foam board. These are one centimeter each and these will be covering the triangles. After that, I'll be applying Mod Podge just as I did before to put these fillers. Um, but these are a little bit more blue, um, and that's what I used for this design. So I didn't like the meeting points of the strips onto the center mirror, so I covered them with these small round mirrors that I picked from Joann's. So I noticed this filler that I used was not really as shiny as I wanted it, so I decided to add uh, this diamond dust. I ordered it some time back uh, online on Amazon, and I'll link it in the description box below if you want to pick it. So basically, this will really add more shine um, to the piece, and I used Mod Podge for that. So the beauty is the Mod Podge was really sealing the crushed mirror that I already applied, but then also attached these little diamond dusts. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this part doesn't have the dust and these two have the dust. The white pieces are because the Mod Podge has not yet dried, but once it dries, it would really be perfect. I really like how these pieces came out, they were really easy to make, so inexpensive. So if you want just something simple to modify your wall, I think these are really perfect ideas. I hope you guys love them, please give me a thumbs up and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you're updated every time that I upload. Thank you guys so so much for your support, for being here and I'll see you next time, bye!